everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. Today I'm gonna to be filming my June favorites. I haven't done one of these for a while, but I thought I would catch up with you talk through some of my recent favorite beauty products, fashion products, and like random lifestyle bits and things I've watched on TV. This video is gonna have all sorts in it, but I really like filming these, I like watching them, so hopefully you will too. Let's start with beauty, because I've recently got really back into beauty, and I've been trying out loads of new products, I feel very inspired, I think it's because of the content that I've been watching, because of the weather, all different kind of elements really. Skincare, I've really been getting into skincare. My skin is changing as I get older naturally. Also because I'm no longer on the pill, I find myself just getting like spottier than I ever did before and I don't really know how to like deal with spotty skin. I've got like a weird scab here and I'm getting like face spots. Like I remember when I was younger, I used to get spots around my nose and quite like hormonal spots, but I never got spots around my cheeks. So I'm still figuring that out really, but I've been getting very into skincare and mm, did I bring them here? Oh yeah, something I'm really into, which I mentioned on mine and Anna's podcast, which by the way, if you are not listening to our podcast, that's a really good way to keep up with my like favorite things because the first half of the podcast, we talk through our top five of the week, our highlight of the week, a show and tell product, something we've watched on TV, something we've seen on the internet. So that's like a really good way to keep up with things like weekly that I wanna recommend to you guys, just in case you're wanting to see them more often because I don't make these monthly favorites videos every month anymore. But something I mentioned this week are skincare capsules. I'm really into them. So if you're not sure what I mean, you might have seen them. When I first saw these, I thought they were like pills that you'd swallow. They look like this. These are the Oscar Super C Vitamin C Serum. Oop, capsules just dropped one. They're like precious things. And then these are the Elizabeth Arden ones. I'll talk through these in a minute. But basically, they look really wasteful. I understand when you look at this, you think, what a waste, why do they need to be in these capsules? But actually, these little capsules are 100% biodegradable. So I just put them in my food bin, along with all my food waste. They're not at all bad for the environment. And what it means is it gives you the perfect amount of product. So I feel like I'm wasting way less product. It's made me realize that I used way too much before. But also it means that the product inside is fully protected from different elements like light and temperature, because actually you're not really meant to keep your skincare in your bathroom because it's too hot. If it's in a glass bottle, things like vitamin C, it just wouldn't work. That's why products like vitamin C have like a really short sell-by date. Anyway, waffle over. I love capsules. <laughs> so these are the Oscar Super C beauty capsules. I use one of those every morning. I find that vitamin C has really been brightening up my skin. As I get older, my skin feels a little bit more dull and like flat. So vitamin C has been great for that. Rich also uses a vitamin C serum. Um, it's great for men and women. And then these are from Elizabeth Arden. Oh, don't know what happened there. These are the ceramide capsules. Ceramide is really great for helping to retain moisture in your skin. I cannot explain how like luxurious and amazing these feel to use. I use one at night and when you squeeze it out of the capsule, you can see it's quite like a gloopy texture and you put it on your skin and it's like a gloopy smooth primer feeling and now you're left with the most glowy skin. It's just so gorgeous and hydrating and I love those. They've also got a retinol ceramide capsule. So this is retinol and ceramide. So it's got the lovely hydrating features that these ones have, but with retinol as well. Retinol is a vitamin A. Retinol is probably the only like, um, I don't know if this is a fact, but I was gonna say it's like the only proven ingredient to actually help with aging, like, you know, anti-aging is not the best thing to call it, but really helps with like fine lines. And I'm trying to get into retinol because I know it's really good for my skin as I'm 32. You have to like gradually build your way up, um, you know, starting once a week up to like three times a week. Some of them can be really harsh and like they make your skin peel. I have found these have been great for my like sensitive skin that gets quite easily irritated. Love, 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 definitely would repurchase. The next beauty product is a makeup product from Fenty Beauty. I mentioned this on my IGTV. I tend to do more, more beauty stuff over on IGTV. So if you're into that kind of thing, definitely go follow me on Instagram at Lily Pebbles. This is a new cream bronzer from Fenty. Sorry, mine's a bit gross. It's got brush hairs in it, but it's, it's well loved and well used. The product is called Cheeks Out and I got the shade Butter Biscuit 02. It's just a really lovely 
cream bronzer. It's kind of dewy and hydrating, but it's matte. It's not shimmery or glittery. I thought at first it was, but it's not. And I just really like this shade. And I, I like that it's in a pan. I like swirling my brush in and applying it wherever I want, whereas I feel like the Milk Makeup one, although it's a good product, I don't like that it's in a stick because I'm never gonna apply it direct from the stick, like over my foundation, so I'd rather it just be in a pan. One more beauty product to recommend, and it's the Isle of Paradise Body High Glow Self Tan Serum. This is brand new, I ordered it from Cult Beauty. Love the blue bottle. Love Isle of Paradise as a brand. Love Jules the founder of the brand, such a great guy, really advocates for like body positivity on his Instagram. He's doing some great things. And this is actually what I'm wearing now. So if you feel like, if you thought I had a bit of a tan, I think I've got a bit of a tan, um, it's this. And I'm like not a massive tanner. I'm like a little bit intimidated by tan. I find the whole thing a little bit of a faff to do. I feel like I don't have time, like with my whole hair routine and everything else I have to do. I like the idea of this because it's in drops and obviously it's got hyaluronic acid in it. That's kind of what the high glow is all about. Hyaluronic acid, I use it in my skincare. It's known for hydration. So you know it's gonna be a really hydrating, like tanning product. The first time I tried it, I just used the dropper and it said use four to eight drops. Drops. So I squeezed like all of that onto my hand and I tried to rub it in and I was like, well, it doesn't go very far. I feel like I'm going to use the whole bottle on one application. So I just did my like legs and I wasn't really sure how it worked. Someone DM'd me and said, try mixing it with a moisturizer. So I've just got the Embryo Lace um, moisturizer which is just like a really plain, like there's nothing in it moisturizer. So I put a pump of that into my hand and then I squeezed the drops. And I literally just used my hands. I didn't even use a mitt. And I just did it all over my arms, chest. I kind of went like that. I didn't even get rich to do my back. And I did my legs. And it's like a gradual tanner. And I just think it worked so well. I haven't got any streaks anywhere. And I've got a really just like nice, natural, slight tan. Like I don't want to look like I've put fake tan on. I don't want to look like I've been on holiday when clearly I haven't. This is perfect. I'm so into it. Add it to your wish list. Okay, let's talk through some style favorites. Tie-dye, I'm into it. So funny, like some, some trends, I'm just like, no. And then some trends, I just, I just, I need it. And I obsess over it, it's so weird. I really, really wanted this t-shirt. I saw it on Sarah from We Are Twin Set. Um, it's from French Connection and they sold out. And I was checking like all the time, I was desperate for this t-shirt. I think a viewer actually DM'd me to say like, heads up, it's back in stock. And I managed to get one in a medium, I'm so happy. It looks like this, I think it might be sold out again, but maybe it'll come back in. It's the Sadie tie-dye t-shirt. I love it, I just, I love the, the colors because they're kind of colorful, but there's not too much. You know how sometimes with tie-dye it's like too dark of like colors. I like that it's just like a blue, pink, and a yellow, and the main part of the t-shirt is actually white. I really love it, I love the fit of it because it's like a boyfriend fit. Because you guys know before this came back into stock, I did purchase this one from Whistles, which is very similar. I think the main difference is the, the fit. The French Connection one's like a slightly thicker cotton and it just has a bit more of like an oversized boyfriend fit, which I'm really preferring at the moment, tucked into jeans. This one, I feel like when I sit down, this one kind of like doesn't tuck in as well to my jeans. I'll link them both down below so you guys can have a look, but this is just the best tie-dye t-shirt that I've seen out of all of the ones I've seen online and I'm really enjoying wearing it. It makes me feel very happy when I wear it. Also, still loving the H&M t-shirt. I showed this in my last like fashion style video. I'll Link that somewhere above if you haven't yet seen it. Really nice oversized boyfriend fit. I love this like muted greyish kind of colour. Been wearing this absolutely loads. I just love this look with jeans and like loads of necklaces on. I think it's really nice. I've had loads of people message me saying that they've also bought this and I'm really liking it. H&M are just doing some great things at the moment. My final style favourite is the Glossier Pink Hoodie. This came back into stock. I got a little like email notification and I just like snapped it up because I love Glossier. I think it's the perfect tone of pink and it's a comfy hoodie. Like I'm always going to need a comfy hoodie in my wardrobe. Um, it's a bit hot for this at the moment, but normally I'll just be wearing this around the house and it's it's really nice, it's a really nice quality. It's not too thick, it's not too thin, and it's like soft. Okay, the next category is lifestyle slash other slash random. Uh, everything else is just gonna go into this part of the video. <laughs> I wanted to quickly talk about these. I mentioned them on my Instagram. Um, it's a brand called Parlor, and they're toothpaste tabs. 
Some of you guys might have tried toothpaste tabs before, if not, basically like dehydrated toothpaste. So this is like one portion, if you like, of toothpaste. And the reason why things like this exist is because toothpaste can contribute a lot to waste. Apparently billions of toothpaste tubes go to landfills every year and take like five to seven hundred years to biodegrade. I'm by no means like the perfect eco person in any way, but I always feel like if I become aware of something in my everyday life that I could easily switch up, then of course I will. Um, absolutely, I'll give it a go. A lot of toothpaste tabs in the past have been very kind of natural and they've been free of absolutely everything, um, including fluoride. I like these ones because they're free of SLS, which is one of the ingredients that really makes my like lip eczema worse, but they're not free of fluoride. Um, flor these are actually made by dentists, so they make sure to keep the fluoride in because that's an important part of toothpaste and actually cleaning your teeth. So although they have no SLS or any of the bad stuff in, they do have fluoride, which is something I personally wanted for my toothpaste. So you order these and they come in a little glass jar and then the idea is you can subscribe. So every month you get refills that you just pour back into your glass jar. You know that you have the perfect amount of toothbrush, toothpaste for that month because you literally have like one every time you brush your teeth. I just wanted to test them out. So I ordered some myself and then I thought oh, I'll subscribe if I like them. I definitely will be subscribing. I'm just actually finishing off my Sensodyne now. Um, I used some of these, now I'm gonna finish off my Sensodyne, finish these and subscribe. Rich has also really been enjoying them. I just think they're a great idea. They taste nice, they taste like peppermint, they don't taste like earthy and like a natural. <laughs> and yeah, I think they're great. The founder of these, um, Dr. Rona, is actually the lady who's gonna be doing my teeth. And I think it's really cool to support like young women in business as well. It's a very entrepreneurial, I think it's a great idea. Also wanted to mention uh, making pita bread. That has been an absolute favourite. I can't believe how easy it is to make your own pita bread. I shared that me and Rich were making them on Instagram stories. I haven't got like a recipe to link to you guys because I think that Honey & Co, who were the people who originally shared it, and one of my favourite restaurants in London, I think they actually shared it on stories and my sister basically learned how to make them and then she made her own little video to send to us. So what I will do is probably make an IGTV. We don't need to make any at the moment because we have so many, but the next time you make pita bread, I'll film it for IGTV and I'll put it on my Instagram. So easy and they're so delicious. They taste so much better than shop-bought pita bread. Grey has been loving them and it's just really fun to do. Talking about food, another random is this. I know it's totally random, but I realised that all the Tupperware that we had for Grey was like baby Tupperware, like little pots for purees and she's obviously moved on from that and because of lockdown and everything that's going on, we've been having like every meal of hers is like al fresco. <laughs> like every meal is a picnic basically because if we go to anyone's house or if we want to see anyone, it's either in a garden or in a park. So we realized we needed like proper Tupperware for her. I ordered these online, my friend recommended them. They're the Systema, Sis Systema? Don't know how to pronounce it, but I'll link them below. I like that the lid locks so nothing spills in your bag. And then it's basically got a main compartment where you can either have like sandwiches or hot food or anything like that. And then it's got these two compartments for snacks or what I like to put like tangerine segments in one and raisins in another. I can't believe I'm like, I sound like such a mum. Sometimes when I hear myself, I'm like, can't quite believe this is me, but yes. It is me. Really recommend this if you have kids. Actually, even if you don't have kids, this would be great for an adult as well, just to take to work. I have some TV recommendations as well, which if you listened to the podcast, you would have already heard and maybe saw me talking about on Instagram. We watched Little Fires Everywhere on Amazon Prime, which was absolutely brilliant. I'm gonna link all of these down below. Watch that one first, that's really good. Somebody Feed Phil is back. I've talked about that before as well. Phil Rosenthal traveling the world, trying different foods. If you are a food like me and if you love traveling and seeing different cultures around, around the world that is such a good one he's so enthusiastic the food just looks so delicious really loving it I think that's like season three this is us is back season four I've already finished it it's on Amazon Prime it's just the most heartwarming amazing TV show ever so many of you have messaged to say that you started watching it because of me I'm so happy for you I want to watch it again from the beginning there are definitely more seasons coming 
it's the best but i think season four was like it's a very satisfying program you know when you're watching a program and you're like oh i wish i could see what happens in the future they show you or you're like oh i wish i knew what happened in the past they show you like it's literally past present future of a huge family all intertwining with each other different relationships linking the best show ever oh oh i don't have my book with me i haven't got it with me i am not your baby mother by candice brathwaite um i read this book uh, I think I read it in like a week and it's such a brilliant insight into what it's like to be a black British mother. Especially as a mum, I loved reading it, but I think even if you're not a mum, you'd find it really interesting. It's a really nice read um, and I would totally recommend it. I'm going to link that down below as well. Candice is doing so well with her book and I'm so happy for her. Is that everything? I think that's everything that I wanted to talk through. I hope you guys enjoyed catching up on some of my favourite products recently. And that's all. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.